Even all remarks here, back in another video, back again with an update on the VR Arcade, VR Experience, which is what I'm setting up here in my town of Gloucester in the UK. Um, and I thought I'd do a quick video, kind of giving you a bit of an update on how it's all going, what's happening here. Uh, it's all kicking off, it's all getting going, it's all, you know, all the good stuff is happening. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a kind of little tour of, uh, sort of show you stuff, stuff that's new, maybe stuff you've already seen in the previous videos. Um, but here is the space now. So it's all been painted. It's got this kind of gray, silver type paint. It looks quite smart. In certain lights, it looks more blue than, than silver, but it's pretty cool. Uh, but it, it's, you know, it works quite well with the LEDs and stuff that we've got going on here. Uh, what else we've got going on here? So where I've stood here, you probably can't see, uh, there to there are the VR booths. So if we back up into a VR booth, you can sort of see we get a nice big bit of space here, probably a good sort of, uh, what's that, nine foot if not more each. Uh, and the bays all have RGBs, baby. So they've got two RGBs and a normal white one just to kind of keep them lit. Uh, we can change the colors on those. I should have got my little remote control for that, but that's around. Uh, the TVs and monitors aren't up on the wall yet. They will be up here. Uh, you can sort of see the plug sockets. You've got those on all the walls. Uh, down here, I have just for kind of info, uh, sort of set up a table. So what we're thinking is these two booths here could be kind of used as a party area so you know we got kids in whatever party they can still sort of sit there have a little fun uh have their birthday cake and whatever so shut those two booths down for that during that time or the back ones and um, what we'll probably do as well for like you know uh team buildings or you know work type stuff where people can come they can get, do some team building in VR, in all these booths, all these booths would be open. And then at a certain point, we shut them off and put out some tables and they can have their meeting and they can hire the venue for a day. Uh, so that should work quite well. Uh, what else we got going on? We've got air conditioning, which is a luxury in the UK. You don't get this everywhere. Uh, I think originally uh, the landlord was going to put in just kind of normal sort of uh, storage heaters and stuff like that, like just like, like, like little radiator type things. But thankfully I convinced him to put air con in because although it doesn't get very hot in the UK often, when it does, we don't want people sweating their butts off while they're playing. Uh, so we've got a banner in the window there that's got some stuff going on. Oh, I'm dropping my microphone on the floor here. Uh, we've also got the poster in the window, which you probably can't see uh, there. <laughs> I think it's meant to be on auto ISO, this camera at the moment, but it's not really coping very well, is it? Um, so there's not much going on really, apart from kind of, you know, all the wiring is done, the internet's been put in. Here's the kind of little cubby hole bit behind the counter, a little bit of storage, a little bit of deskage there. Um, that's where the counter will be there so people will walk in through the door and the counter will be there that's coming in tomorrow so that'll be installed then so it's all getting exciting the um only thing that we're really waiting for um the pcs are being built but the uh chinese machines so the vr slide and the vr movie pods looks like they're not going to be getting here till the 19th of november <clears throat> and i really want the vr pods and the slide to be here for when we open. I mean, chances are we probably could open before those sort of things get here, but I don't know, they just seem like they're, they're the advertising, they're the gravy, they're the money to, to kind of bring in those kind of randomers and you know, get people's interest and really kind of pr help promote and share the stuff that's going on here. Because you know, you see somebody screaming on a VR slide and it gets shared on Facebook, you're gonna like it, you're gonna wanna know where they're doing it and put something else through that, that peril. Um, <laughs> The back, back area there is where the uh, VR racing sort of seats are gonna be. Uh, so this kind of whole sort of area here. Uh, we're just waiting for those to come in. We do have the steering wheels, they're here. We do have six Thrustmaster steering wheels, some nice strong pedals, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we do have our disabled loo. That was very important to us because we wanted to kind of make the VR as open to as many people as we possibly could. I'm gonna change that door handle I want a different door handle, but 
there's yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a look at the loo? Do you want to look at the loo? There's a loo. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think the ISO is opening up. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, there we go. Uh, here's the kind of little sort of staff room slash storage room. So I've already kind of put in the, the important stuff, the stuff for making food, the kettle, the, the microwave, the um, fridge. Um, got sink stuff, I all need tidying up. Uh, I'm actually holding this at the moment with this thing here, the switch pod. It was a um, Kickstarter thing I did ages ago and it finally came through. So I'm, I'm using that now. So maybe we'll do a video on that at some point. I also do have with me a bag of various quests and whatever accessories that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do the videos in here while we're waiting for other stuff to be done. So, you know, kind of get, get, give me a, get a bit more use out of this space while I'm waiting for deliveries and all that sort of good stuff. We'll do that. I don't know whether to walk outside or not because I don't want to feel like a bit of a bit of a weirdo. Um, let's turn that, let's turn that um, f-stop down a little bit because it's getting a bit bright. There we go, there we go. Should we just step outside so you can sort of see? So, let's turn down a bit more. Make sure I'm not getting run over. Oh, I've got to bring that all the way down. So there we go. You see, I've milked out the uh, the windows with uh, stuff that you get for um, greenhouses to cool them down in the summer. So you can sort of see this is the street here. It is pretty busy. So you've got the uh, main part of town up there, and then you've got sort of down there is kind of like the new sort of shopping quarter and stuff, Gloucester Keys. So it's all kind of pretty uh, pretty popular area. Let's jump back in again because I feel like a weirdo talking to a camera in the middle of the street. I should get used to it already. You know, the amount, amount of talking to a camera I've done. Uh, let's turn that back a bit brighter again, shall we? So you can sort of see what I'm talking about. But there we go. So there's kind of the update. We're waiting on the PCs coming, hopefully next week. Getting some sofas in, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, counter, hopefully tomorrow. Um, a few other things that we're waiting for. Uh, we've got the TVs ready to put on the wall. We'll get a guy in that'll literally screw everything to the wall in probably a day once we need it. But at the moment, we're just kind of waiting sort of thing. So I'm here waiting for some deliveries. I do hopefully, I think today we're going to get the, um, the racing cockpits because the racing seats, they're going to have a kick butter, so vibration and wind. So the more you accelerate, the more windy it gets as you go. Um, and there we go. So there's a kind of quick update, quick overview of what's going on. I don't think I've missed anything. So if you don't see many videos from me, this place is the reason why. And hopefully you guys, if you are local or anywhere near the UK in Glo and Gloucester in the UK, you want to swing by and say hi when we open. So we're hoping middle of November. At the very latest, it'll be sort of the 19th, 20th of November because those Chinese machines that I really want are due to land and be delivered at that point. So we may hold off. I'm not sure. I can open without them. I don't know. It's something for me to think about. I do kind of want to open with a bang and it feels like a bit of a lost opportunity if we don't have them. But then if we open earlier, there's lots of Christmas party type stuff and whatever we could do. Because people are already asking, you know, when are we going to open so they can do Christmas parties and that here. Um, so, you know, it's in our interest to open. So as I say, uh, I've got a big bag full of accessories and stuff in there. I've got the Quest. I've got a Go. Um, I've got obviously once we get the PCs and the headsets and whatever, I'll have a Rift as well to do some videos on while I'm here. So I'm a proper sort of Oculus fanboy at the moment with all my Oculus headsets. Um, but they just work well for me, my function, everything I want to do. So win-win, win-win, winner-winner. That's what I was trying to say, winner-winner, chicken dinner. So if you like this video, you want to see more from the arcade, you want to see more behind the scenes, how I sort of set stuff up, all that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'm trying to do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five. Okay.